Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. I am so proud and pleased to announce I have a new vlog challenge coming your way. During the month of Frugal February Manifesting March, I shared with you my dry broke and it ended up taking almost six weeks to be fixed because I had to wait for like a part to arrive. During that period of time, it rained a lot and my house ended up looking like a laundromat. I had sheets, I had towels, I had socks, I had my underwear hanging all over the house, over door handles, banister rails, door frames. It was really embarrassing. Anyway, during this period, it made me realize how much I take power for granted. I just turn things on and don't think about it. And then it also made me realize how much money do I waste on power and what things could I do to try and stop that from happening. And then I started to think about what is the environmental impact? Anyway, I have decided to do a new vlog challenge. It's an energy saving vlog challenge. And the good energy guys have very kindly offered to sponsor and collaborate with me on this challenge. And I'm so grateful for this because I don't have a huge amount of knowledge and information when it comes to power. I find it really very confusing and a little bit overwhelming, but I'm really determined to reduce the amount of power that I use and save some money. So much so that for round three of the thousand dollar project, when I work out how much money I've saved by changing my routines or my habits, I am going to transfer that estimated savings into the thousand dollar project account so that all those savings really do add up. Now this power saving challenge isn't just about saving power and saving money, it's also about my environmental impact. Looking at things that I can do to reduce my impact on the environment, reducing my wastage, reducing my consumption and doing little things to help create a healthier, cleaner, um, you know, better environment for all of us. So I'm so excited about this challenge. Please make sure you subscribe. And more importantly, I want to hear from you guys what you are doing to save on power and save money when it comes to power. This is such an interesting concept. There are so many different things you can do and I would love it if we can all share our knowledge and information together. So make sure you put a comment in the comments box below. And of course, as I said, make sure you are subscribed because I'm going to be sharing with you so many different things that we can all do together to reduce the amount of power and save money. Okay, so I'm really into this power saving challenge and I have just checked out the Origin Energy um, Savinator. I've entered in all the, my details and it's worked, or well, they've worked out, I can save up to $104 over the next 90 days by changing to Origin Energy, but it gets even better. By signing up, I'm gonna get a $50 bonus credit. Now, I put my energy usage in and I kind of toned it down. And so I'm thinking my savings is probably going to be a lot more than this. So I'm actually, I'm gonna sign up. This is a no brainer for saving money. And this is already kickstarting my power saving, money saving challenge. Okay, I've just come back from a run in the park with Giuseppe and no power needed. Um, no trips to the gym, nothing wasted there. And I have decided that I am going to unplug all these appliances that are sitting on standby by being plugged in and, and the switch on, even though they're not actually being used, are still using power, which I don't need. So i am just gone through the kitchen and I'm about to go upstairs and I'm going to unplug everything. Now there are some things obviously that I can't unplug, like my fridge and my washing machine. So they will obviously stay on, but everything else I'm going to unplug. And I have, a, a, from the research I've been doing, this won't have a huge effect, but the, all these little things, as we know, with money, they all add up over time. I'm literally just about to run out the door uh, to head off to work. And I went to go and put my dishwasher um, on so that it would clean the stuff while I was at work. Anyway, I just realized we have a peak hour system. If I put the dishwasher on now, I'm gonna be charged more. So I quickly jumped online and checked the off peak times in my area, which is after 8 p.m. So from now on, I'm gonna make a really conscious effort to get the dishwasher, the washing machine, and any other major appliance only used 
well after 8 p.m. or even maybe just before I go to bed, you know, at 9 p.m. at night. These little things are really going to add up and help reduce the amount of power that I'm using. And also one other little savvy thing I did was I washed my hair this morning and instead of standing there for like 20 minutes with the hairdryer going, I let my hair dry naturally and then just quickly, you know, gave it a quick blow dry for like three or four minutes so that I wasn't using as much power. And you know what? It doesn't look too bad. Now also, whilst I was doing my research as to what my off-peak times are, I also found out that I might be entitled to a further discount um, if I switch my gas. So at the moment, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head who my gas provider is, but if I can have my gas and electricity with the same provider, there is a further 15% discount, I think it is. So on my list of things to do today is to get this sorted because all these savings are adding up and I'm reducing my overall consumption of power. Another power saving habit I'm creating, turning off all the lights. This morning when I woke up, um, Tom had to get up quite early and it was still pitch black. He left so many lights on, bathroom lights, bedroom lights, um, my study light, all the lights on downstairs. He's also really messy and left all the drawers open, but that's another point. Anyway, this is complete waste of money, complete waste of energy, bad for the environment. So I'm going to have a little chat to him about this habit. Um, he's got to get on board with me and simply turn lights off. For nights where I come home late and it's dark, I do hate coming into a dark, cold house. I'm going to go to the hardware store tomorrow and buy some of those timers where the lights will automatically go on at a certain point. But I definitely will not be leaving my house with any lights on. And the one, the few lights that I'll choose to put this timer on, I'll make sure that they're, you know, strategically placed. So they're lights near the front of the house so that I don't have to have the whole house lit up. This is a big money saving thing. And I'm also going to start looking into some of the LED light bulbs, which I believe are a little bit more expensive up front, but much better for value over the long run. One of the things I wanted to do in this power saving challenge was also reduce my consumption. Now the fashion and textile industry has a lot to answer for in what it does to our environment and the amount of power that we use. But when we can just slow down our consumption or learn to consume in a different way, such as buying secondhand, this dramatically reduces the environmental damage as well as saving money. Now I have an event to go to and I really wanted to buy something new because I literally had nothing to wear or so I like to tell myself but I actually decided to jump on eBay and I picked up this amazing Dion Lee dress which is one of my favorite designers for $120. Now this dress would normally retail for between I think $650 maybe even up to $850. So I picked up a bargain but it feels so good to know that I am giving this dress another life. It's a very classic simple black dress that I can dress up and down so I'm hoping to get plenty of mileage. But what I want to try and say to you guys who are part of this power saving challenges have a look at how often you use things try and stretch the usage of these things and don't just throw things in the bin give them to another person or try and sell them remember one man's trash is another man's treasure and I'll tell you what I am absolutely loving this little black dress and loving the bargain as well <laughs>